So here's an input video and here is an output video. And what you're going to notice is that the pose from the input video is inherited with high fidelity to the output video. And this is not something that was possible until recently with control net. So if you haven't heard about control net, basically what it does is it gives us the power to use stable diffusion using information about depth or posing, or like you can actually draw like a sketch and it will make a uh, stable diffusion output based on this. It gives us control over our general Generation. This video is brought to you by Squarespace, the best place to build a beautiful website. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to take a video like this one, for example, looking beautiful and uh, turning that into a coherent video output. So all you're going to need is you're going to need a video that you can turn into an image sequence because we're going to do this as a batch process. And you also want to make sure that you have control net installed, which you can check by going to extensions and then control net. You should have this uh, folder in here if you've installed it. OK, so now I'm in the image to image section of stable diffusion and I'm going to be using the 1.5 model, even though I've gotten this to work with 2.1 with control net and also 1.4, although 1.5 is uh, in some sense better than 1.4. So. All I'm gonna do is an image to image. I'm gonna load the first image of the sequence and you can do anything for the prompt here. I'm gonna go for a happy male chef with curly hair. Now, assuming we keep all these settings at default, if we hit generate, uh, half of the time we're gonna get an issue where you can see, yes, this is a happy male chef and yes, it's kind of pulling inspiration from this image. Uh, you can kind of tell like similar skin color, stuff like this, uh, but you see here I'm looking uh, to the side and here I'm not. It's not inheriting that pose and we kind of have to keep generating this over and over and over again uh, to get that pose, except with control net. Now, uh, after you have it installed, open the control net section and oh, you don't actually have to load your image in here. It doesn't matter. You just click enable. And then for the preprocessor, assuming you've downloaded all these uh, control net options, I'm just going to do open pose. And for the model, I'm going to use open pose. I've only downloaded canny depth and open pose. So make sure these are matching. I'm going to keep all these settings by default. And now I'm going to keep the seed random. If we generate, uh, we might not get a good image, but we should get one that's pointing to the side. So that's actually really, really good. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep generating this until I get the image that I like, not necessarily in terms of posing, because that's going to always be working. Uh, but just in terms of how it looks. So I'm just going to generate it a few times. And then once we're good with it, we're going to keep the seed and then we're going to run this as a batch process. Now notice sometimes it's going to give us a cartoon style. Sometimes it's going to give us a realistic style. I like this one. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm now going to uh, kind of disable the seed or kind of fix it in some sense. So now the seed is always this. So if I generate it again, uh, we should get the exact same image. image. And now all we have to do to turn this into a video uh, as we run this as a batch process. So go to batch, go to input directory. And for the input directory, uh, we're going to use the folder where you have the sequence. So just copy address as text. And you can uh, put that in right here. And then for the output directory, I'm just going to make a new folder. I'm going to call it sequence out and then copy this as well. And this is going to go to the output. Beautiful. So. Uh, we got the inputs, we got the outputs, and again, you can change settings here. I would just make sure the seed is fixed. That's what's going to make this look semi-coherent and making sure that your pose is here with uh, default settings. So uh, now we're going to generate, and it's going to do this as a batch process. You're going to see it's going to generate one image, and then it's going to load in another image. And they should be semi-similar, uh, changing as the uh, face is changing over to the side. So let's see what this looks like so far. For the first few frames, I'm not moving my head too much, so it makes sense that this isn't uh, changing all too much. Um, but soon, we should get the head uh, turning to the side uh, just a bit, and uh, it will look a bit different, so I'm going to skip over to that. Okay, so you can see what's happening here is as we go through the images, the head is starting to turn, and yes, we're getting different kinds of people, but there's still kind of a coherency here, especially with the posing, um, and that is what we're going for. So this is working out really well. All we have to do is run the uh, rest of this batch process and then uh, take this and compile it into a video. So that's the essence of how to do it. Uh, there are, there do seem to be methods to get like less flickering and stuff like this, and maybe I can get into that as well. Uh, but that is the video. 
And now uh, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. So yes, the rumors are true. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. And if you haven't heard of them, they are the best, the fastest way to make a beautiful website. I use them myself with cgmatter.com. So what you need to know about Squarespace is you don't need to know any HTML or anything like this. You just click your blocks and you drag them around. You drag around your squares and you can assemble your website. Three features you might want to know about Squarespace is one, you have access to analytics. So you can see who is going to your website, demographic type information. Two, you can embed your social media feed directly into your website so you don't need to redirect to Twitter or anything like this. You can just embed it directly in there. And then three, like I said, there's automatic uh, automatic cropping and automatic placement as long as you just click and drag these things. You don't need any HTML or anything like this. So go to squarespace.com to make your website and you can just like use one of these templates and build a website. And when you're ready to take that live, you can use my link in the description to save 10% on your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this video.